good afternoon, Michael Wynn, Chief Digital Officer of Digital Ops, a division of RB Oppenheim Associates. Welcome everyone to the digital marketing video podcast where we talk about digital marketing strategies and tactics to grow your business. Today I want to talk about a guide to the best digital marketing campaigns, deploying empathy versus emotional storytelling. So what is the difference really between empathy and emotional storytelling? Well, I think everyone knows that, you know, emotional marketing has, has been a, uh, a tactic and a strategy that's, that's been used for decades where, you know, companies look to, um, you know, exploit emotional, uh, you know, pains of, of their consumers to um, trick them. I think that's how they feel anyway, uh, in looking at or considering their product. So the difference between that approach of empathy and emotional manipulation, I think is really just at the core, what, what does empathy really mean? And I think it's quite simply, can you put yourself in your constituents or client shoes? Can you really understand um, what they're going through and, and how they think and feel when they're going through the process of making a decision about deciding between product A and product B or service A and service B or company A and company B? Um, I think that's, that's really what it boils down to. And, you know, um, I recently, you know, found myself, we do, we do a lot of work with real estate agents and brokers. Um, and I found myself, uh, you know, over the weekend thinking about, hmm, I wonder what the market has to offer out there in terms of real estate opportunities. So started doing a little searching on some of the apps that are out there and, and some of the, some agent websites. And, you know, one of the things that I found is uh, an important motivator for me as a father of three daughters uh, is school zone. So, you know, the ability to search the inventory based on, you know, high school or middle school or elementary schools, um, that's really an important feature. Um, but I was really surprised uh, in all of the platforms, it didn't matter if it was Trulia or Realtor.com or, you know, just independent uh, realtor websites, it's not as easy as you think to try to find that. Yes, eventually you can get there, um, but to get there right away, it, it, it's not as obvious. And that's a friction point, right? And so I think that, um, you know, obviously price point is a, is a huge consideration. I think that's the number one, you know, sort of optimization is, is where do you wanna go? How much do you wanna pay? You know, and boom, let's, let's get started. Um, but then as we get granular and break that down, you know, what are some specifics about what you're looking for? Uh, and for people who are looking for that homes are uh, homes based on uh, school zones. It's really important, especially if you live in a community or town where you've got a lot of families uh, that live there. So I think really being able to being uh, demonstrate empathy, what that really does is empathy demonstrates your company's understanding of the, the market's desires and pain points and be able to provide solutions to alleviate those things, you know? And so, you know, for those products and services that I was mentioning to you, like if you realize, hey, uh, you know, being able to search by, uh, you know, school districts or, or school zones, like let's make a button, you know, a little bit higher or let's, let's create posts or Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn, you know, articles that talk about, hey, are you trying to find a house based on, you know, a school zone? We've made it easy. Here it is, right? So it's just really understanding that. And I feel like a lot of companies, you know, um, really under undervalue and, and, and don't demonstrate empathy enough. Number two, empathy drives product and service innovations. I, I found an article I thought was really fascinating. So Google, um, the company had a project called Project Aristotle uh, back in 2017. And what was interesting about this was the team was really made up of these B team, 
um, people. Like it wasn't the top head, like tech people or scientists or you know engineers. It was a group of team, uh, B teams, if you will, um, who had greater soft skills, which they listed as generosity, um, curiosity of other other people's ideas, empathy, emotional intelligence. And what they found is those teams actually came up with innovation quicker because they were really putting themselves in in the end user's thoughts and ideas and feelings about how they were using the product. Um, So your business can, can leverage that same success as Google if you really understand and can deploy uh, emotional intelligence uh, as well as empathy. So we were doing a project for a client. You know, we've talked a lot on this um, video podcast series where we talk about um, digital content and scale. So we had this one client. We had like 79 pieces of creative um, that, that were a part of the creative set. It's been running for 30 days. And one of the things that stuck out like a sore thumb was um, this one particular um, thought or feeling really triggered with the market, like almost four to one. But you don't have that kind of insight if you don't have all the different, you know, psychographic motivations, um, you know, in in creating visuals and resources that are connected uh, to those motivations. So we were able to identify that very quickly in our insight reporting and say, okay, we want to build more because the the market is telling us that this is the kind of this is the kind of of feelings and, and um, you know, fears that, that they have about having to make this decision and they want to feel better educated, they want to feel better prepared. Um, so let's offer resources and solutions um, for that particular motivation. So again, empathy can drive product service, products and service innovation, as well as connect you deeper with your client. Number three, Empathy defines market value. So when you're able to to really connect with and and demonstrate and and drive product innovations, then you really have a market value or a a, a market advantage versus your competitor because what's going to happen is your consumers are going to understand that there's something beyond just the, the transactional relationship that there's something beyond the sale that happens uh, when they choose your business. Um, you know, I think that a lot of times uh, client reviews and testimonies are a great way to demonstrate, um, you know, the value of working with or, or selecting your company. So having that as a creative component as part of your digital marketing campaign is, is absolutely uh, a successful um, strategy. And then lastly, empathy cultivates engagement. Um, And again, it's more than just product benefits. Like it's great if, you know, your product's going to save me time. But if your product saves me time and I feel better about myself, now we've got something that's that's, uh, a viral component because if I got – the, the, the basic product benefit and I got a value of feeling better about myself, what am I going to do? I'm going to tell others, right? So you don't have to put out any kind of incentive. I'm just automatically going to tag my best friend, like whoever, you know, or my family member, um, you know, and say, hey, check this out, you know, just type in their name or share it or send them an email or text them or whatever. Um, so again, I think those are really the four differences. Emotional storytelling is really just about, you know, trying to trigger an emotion um, and it's and it's very short sighted. But I think empathy really demonstrates um, a, a, an authentic um, intent um, behind your company. And, and the evidence is overwhelming that businesses who deploy that, whether it's through their digital marketing efforts or just through the way their company grows and builds internally is great. Uh, so again, number one, empathy demonstrates that you understand your market's desires and pain points. Number two, it drives product uh, service and innovations. It defines your product, uh, defines your market value and cultivates engagement. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you'll catch you tomorrow. My name is Michael Wynn. Have a great day.